it's really stretched my understanding of uh, the, the culturally and uh, environmentally responsive um, issues that, that we face. Things that I've really enjoyed is there's been a lot of hands-on opportunities um, and it's not just sitting in a classroom listening to lectures. Uh, the schedule's jam-packed but uh, it, that, that's been, been really good. I've enjoyed pretty much everything. Um, met some really great people. Love meeting other teachers from all different states. Learning about programs that can be implemented in my own classroom. Um, and seeing scenery that I have never seen before. I came because of the culturally responsiveness, because I work in a very diverse district and uh, there's not a lot of interaction between the different groups, so I wanted to find ways to facilitate that, try to make a difference in like not only our students' lives, but possibly the world as well. They come up with so many different service projects. I'm thinking, could you imagine if every high school in this nation had students of color doing this service and leading in their own school. I enjoy so much learn about climate change, survival lessons, empower the youth community and Latino community. I enjoy so much meet new people and learn and meaningful activities to implement in my class with my students related with diversity, empowerment, and innovation. No! Look, it's, you guys almost simultaneously did it. Going through that wilderness uh, survival school and just understanding local perspectives, those subcultures, I, I'm just really interested to know more because it's really about having those almost courageous conversations so you can get to meeting points and that's a real reflecting point in anywhere that you go um, to make a community better. the low-income refugee populations that we're with, that a lot of times people want to skip the step of addressing the child first, but you can't ask for changes in how you do things unless you address that personal safety first. The thing I learned most in this program is, I think, the Native American perspective to um, relationship with the land and how we can preserve land a little bit better than what we're doing and why that's important from Native American perspective, but also opened up my own ideas of how we can teach better the Native perspective of the lands in the U.S. and maybe even the history of Natives. Uh, different than what's already in the curriculum because sometimes that's not as authentic or accurate as it should be. Um, the whole week was super informative and for me as a librarian I especially appreciated meeting the Native people and hearing their perspective especially on um, Native literature and which books are now not really acceptable and which books are more accurate and sensitive to the Native people's perspective. The four-legged, the two-legged, the plants, trees, the rivers, the lakes. The earth, we are all related. not have such a big footprint in the environment. I'm the pride of being where we are and acknowledging the acknowledgement of the ones that came before us.
pace of change is to reestablish that connectivity so that species can, can move and adapt. But of course, the only, the only ultimate solution is, reduce, is, is solving the problem, right? We have to stop burning fossil fuels. Of course we can do this, right? So find a common ground, but again, really emphasize, it's not enough just to say, here's how big the problem is. You gotta become informed enough to say, here's how good the solution would be.